Give me an encore. Do you want more? Yes, you do, because it's Skullgirl's second encore on Nintendo Switch. They've bundled up everything Skullgirls and put it in this package. So you've got the challenge modes, the survival modes, the fully voiced story mode. You got the extra characters, all the DLC, and it's all here in one beautiful bundle with brilliant fighting and some some crazy Skrull Girls. What's going on everybody? It's Ghost Robo. Thanks so much for being here to check this out with me on Switch, taking some chaotic fighting on the go. Big thanks to Skybound Games for sponsoring the video. They said, hey, would you like to play our game coming to Switch? It's got a bunch of crazy girls. It's got super awesome fighting action. It's got online. It's got the whole shebang from all the past versions. And it's got the swankiest soundtrack this side of Jupiter. So I said, okay, sure. Sounds like a good idea. We're going to jump into story mode. Uh, I want to do some online as well, but we gotta, we gotta start by finding a character that works for us. And if this game works for you, it's 25 bucks on the eShop right now. But I do have some codes to give away. So, if you can't afford it right now, here's what you gotta do. Leave a comment letting me know your favorite Skull Girl. I'll show a bunch of them here. If you don't know them all, you can look them up. I'll put a link in the description to the game. And hit that like button, follow me on Twitter, and you'll be entered. I'll pick a few winners in a couple days. We'll get you guys the game. You guys can get fighting. Maybe you'll fight me. Maybe you'll fight your friends. Maybe you'll fight your enemies. But it will be a good time. I'm loving the character design here. From Squiggly to Eliza. Pain, pain, pain Wheel? I'm not sure. Ooh. She's already in pain. It's, it's hurting me just to, to look at her. Sarah Bella has arms on her head. Um, double is locked and looking like a mutant Ursula. Parasol, just a girl with a parasol. Um, I like the, where's the girl with the cat? Where's the cat girl? Where's she at? Is it, yes, Miss Fortune. She's kind of like a cat. We're gonna start there. See what she's got going on. You hear the news? The Skull Girl's been going after all those families in Maplecrest. Looks like this new Skull Girl's got a bone to pick with the boss. Where is he gone anyway? Think the rumors of him getting sick are true? Hold up, look, there she is. That fish folk dame we were sent to find. Hey girly, can we get some service over here? Yes, may I help you, sir? Hey now, you're quite the dish. I'd like to eat you up. Holy cow. A little bit rude to the to the staff here. Why don't you swim over here with a couple of free drinks and then we hit the town? I I'm sorry, but I need to work. You know, you are pretty cute. For a stinking gill girl. Rude, goodness gracious. Throw some anchovies at him. In comes misfortune. Is everything okay over here? Are these guys bugging you, Minette? Go find yourself a sandbox, kitty. We're just having a friendly chat with the little minnow here. Yikes. Leave. Now. Or I'll throw you out myself. Can't you take a clue, you flea-bitten tart? Clearly you don't know who you're messing with. Ooh. Wow. Wow. They, they just chopped... Okay, game over. We lose. It's over. Ha, did you see that? That stupid cat didn't stand a chance. The soundtrack is still so jazzy. And now a decapitated head is roaring to action. Ain't no meow here. The body is fighting too. What the? What the? Never mind her. We found what we were looking for. Let's get back and tell Vitaly. I'm holding my head. You okay, Manette? They didn't hurt you, did they? That was amazing! What would I do without you? No idea. I mean, she can take her head off. It's pretty intense. Thanks for scaring them off, Nadia. Your next dinner is on me. Actually, I think it's time I make my move and follow them. I've got to catch me a skull girl, and it sounds like mafia goons are the perfect bait to draw her out. Sounds very dangerous. Be careful out there. You're like family to us, you know? Nadia, do you really think the skull heart can bring your friends back? There's only one way to find out. See you around, Munyan, and give my regards to your dad, Manette. Ready to fight. Let's get in on the action. I actually just read that they're patching back in the voices. Somehow it got bugged, so they will be back. But in the meantime, you get my amazing voice acting skills. I've always wanted to do voice acting. Maybe one day, or maybe not. But now it's time to... Oh my goodness gracious. Pinwheel is looking mighty ferocious. Like, holy cow. I'm a kitten, but I feel like I don't I don't stand a chance. Ooh, throw in my head. Goodness gracious. 
How do I get my head back? I'm gonna have to learn specific moves for Misfortune here. Stay alive against Pinwheel. The animation is insane. I think that's probably, like, the first thing anyone knows about Skullgirls. Um, I mean, then you notice the crazy girls that all have their own unique, uh, little, uh, what do you, what do you, what, what would you call this? Personality? Um, issue? <laughs> How do I pick my head back up? Can I have it back, please? Yikes. Nice combo there, Pinwheel. Holy cow. Yeah, that's how we get the job done. May not have been the prettiest. But we can juggle our head and juggle pain wheel all the way to a wonderful first victory. Boom. Game runs like a charm. Frame rate is solid. Looking lovely. Oh baby, just right back at it. Peacock. Alright, this is a good chance for you guys to see a lot of characters. I love sort of the old timey like a uh, showtime thing that they've got going on with the uh you know, the presentation style here. I remember playing Skullgirls when it first came out. Uh, I haven't seen a lot of it since, so some of these characters are brand new to me. So it's cool to play on the Switch, uh, and get all the new stuff. Ooh, wow. She's got, like, a bunch of, like, bombs and stuff. Yikes. Holy cow. Pain wheel. How do I even close the gap against you? There we go. Maybe a throw? A little cat throw? I like it. I like it a lot. I've never been a cat person, but my girlfriend has a cat, so when we moved in together, I... Got a cat, basically. Um, let's look and hold it. Um, what does she have for her, like, special stuff going on here? Om nom nom, I like that. Feline allergies. Cat Elgato? I'm recording on it. That's funny. Alright, um, what do we got? Cat scratch fever. Two punches. Let's, let's go for it. You ready for this? A little action here. Yeah, ber wait, Berserker Barrage? Do you know who that's from? Oh my goodness gracious. This game does play a little like MVC, but that was that was my favorite character in MVC when I was younger. Do you guys know who it's from? I'm not even gonna say it. Do you know what Berserker Barrage is from? Berserker Barrage. That's a crazy throwback. Valentine says, well, well, what have we here? That's quite the body you've got there, kidding. Everybody is a little, uh, a little... A little scandalous here. Miss Fortune says, er, sorry, creepy lady, I'm not interested. Oh, don't get the wrong idea. I was just admiring your scars. You've been cut clean through several times over. Ugh. No one could survive that. Yet here you are, walking, talking, shedding. <laughs> shedding. Whatever is animating you could be invaluable to my research. Let's perform an autopsy and see what makes you tick. And now we're fighting an evil demonic nurse who wants to cut us apart and also who has, a uh, very, um, very... <laughs> Very risque outfits. Everyone's like, you know what? We got to look uh, incredibly, in incredibly good and fight at the same time, right? That's what they got going on here. All right, Miss Fortune. I want that om nom nom. Let's oh, wow. That bowling attack is pretty sweet. I just got to figure out how to do it better. There we go. That's my Berserker Barrage. Putting the pain on Valentine. Okay, good moves. Get that throw. I love that it's like a, a nice combo there. She's a pretty sweet character. Whoa! 13 surgical strikes and a whole lot of damage. And a new one. Okay, that was pretty good. Taking a little bit of my meter up there. Trying to move my head towards me. I don't know if there's a way to pick the head back up. But I'm just going to keep it in the corner. Absolute pain. We're actually doing pretty good. I, I never think of myself as good at fighting games. I would never say that, but I think they're fun and I, I usually pick them up pretty well. I just never get to the point where I can absolutely destroy. It's just not my style. I don't think I have the uh, the patience or probably the uh, the fingers for it. There we go. Head comes back and she is gonna quack. Or not say anything at all because uh, she looked pretty, pretty done for, but we got the W. Valentine is out of here. I underestimated you, but I've seen all that I need to see. And I'm sure the analysis of this blood will prove most enlightening. You just don't stop, do you? Lady Valentine, the Skullgirl has requested your presence at the cathedral. A nurse and a nun? Huh, where have I heard this joke before? I'll be there soon. Double. Return and let Marie know that I found Lorenzo. His minions let me write to him. Who are these people? Double Marie Lorenzo? I'm just a little kitty cat. I don't know what's going on. I just had to stop and perform a little experiment on our feline friend here. Very well. Oh, that's double. 
Take care, kitty. We have a follow-up visit as soon as these tests come back from the lab. Hope you didn't sample any blood. That's kind of illegal. So the skull girl is hiding out at the Grand Cathedral, is she? Never was one for churches, but here, I'll make an exception. We'll be back together soon enough, guys. Alright. We're going to challenge the skull girl already. Get after it. Maybe, baby? Let's put an end to this Parasol. Freaking Kim Possible up in here. Showtime! Too bad uh, Cuphead's not really a girl, but Cuphead would be such a, a nice fit for this this game here. Like, not the art style, just like presentation, like the old-timey nature. I love how like the backgrounds are like painterly though. That's pretty cute. Whoa! Give me that Berserker barrage in that corner. Good defense there. Um, there's a lot of other modes, obviously, besides the story. Like I mentioned, there's like survival modes. There's uh, challenge modes. It's like team. The game actually lists like up to eight players, which is pretty neat. And uh, hopefully the online, the online's GGPO or GPPO, sorry. Um, so hopefully it performs well as it should, because uh, as long as that's good, it's a pretty sweet, solid package for a fighter here. All right, let's uh, finish this off. There we go. Yeah, buddy. What a great kill. <laughs> Misfortune. Pretty... Pretty fortunate, actually. Learned a few combos and a few uh, few killer moves. So this is the Grand Cathedral. Eh. Meow. What a, what's a skull girl like you doing in a place like this? She followed me home, Double. Can I keep her? You again? Don't you have an appointment with the skull girl? Indeed I did, but I'm afraid we've got a scheduling conflict. As it turns out, you've got an appointment on my dissection table. Right about now. Let's not be late or I'll have to get my spray bottle. You couldn't beat me before, so what makes you think you can now? Yes, my previous experiment was a failure, but I've got my lab assistant to help this time around. May the Trinity have mercy on this poor, lost soul. The nun is your lab assistant? Hate to break it to you, lady, but you're not going to get much science out of this one. Oh my gosh. Your experience left the weight, Valentine. She is a candidate. Oh my gosh, the nun went crazy. A candidate you say even better. Come on, Kitty. The doctor will see you now. Uh-oh. The innocent nun uh, opened up and actually has a beast crawling around inside. Bad news for this little furball. Hopefully we uh, Looks like we can give her a little cat scratch, scratch fever. That's a disease that I'm not sure she can recover from. Does she have a backup? She does. It looks like Double is right there with her. Might make this a lot harder. I have to get it right in that that yarn ball right from the beginning. See what we can do here. Oh, nice attack. Good blocking. Oh, didn't block. Oh, wow. Nice overheads. Doubles coming in. Oh, my goodness gracious. You are mutinously magical. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at this freakazoid. Oh, but then she turns it. She, like, turns into Parasol for a second there. Can she double as, like, anybody? Or is that just... Oh, my gosh. Holy cow. Stop shooting! I don't think guns should be allowed in here. Wow. They both have so much health. I gotta close the gap. She seems way better at range than me. Yep, there we go. Okay. Knocked her out of there. Oh, yeah, that's a big attack. I'm gonna do it again. Bring it back. Oh, cat scratch fever! Oh, my gosh, I predicted it! That's so cool. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm blocking. I guess not. It's a lot of damage. Okay, I got. It. Wow. I gotta take her out quick. There we go. Valentine's down. It's now me versus double, which is gonna be hard because I have less health. Good air throw. Berserker barrage. Yep. Oh, we got this. We got this. I think we're gonna do it, dude. I can't believe I'm gonna go undefeated. Well, I better not speak too soon. It's like in freaking boss battles. I'm like, oh, I got this. And it's like just a little too soon, but I, I think we can manage here. Yeah! It's so fluid. It shocks me how, like, again, I'm no pro. I don't have a lot of experience. I jump in, and it feels so good, and it's just so intuitive. You can rock and roll right into a character and be pretty powerful and, and feel pretty proud right from the, the start. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Who's this? Not looking good. Just took out a dynamic duo. But Misfortune says, Alright, Skullgirl, you know why I'm here. 
I do. So, no offense, but you're the last thing standing between me and my family. So let's get this show on the road. I too have lost much to the Medicis. Do you not seek vengeance? Wishes such as yours rarely turn out well. I've got to try. The Fishbone Gang raised me, protected me, and taught me everything I know. The least I can do is return the favor. Your instincts are admirable. My wish was also to protect my friends. Look, I'm going to have to stop you before you get to the we're a lot alike you and I bit. I've come too far to turn around, so it's time to claw that heart out of you. So be it. I hope your wish turns out well. <laughs> Fighting the Skull Girl, known as Marie. Awaken. And let's battle. Better bring home the trophy. Talking a lot of trash through the first few fights here, because I, I have I have done pretty well. Uh, but we'll have to see if we're able to keep the streak alive in this ferocious final fight here. Make it flashy, guys. Make it flashy, guys. Okay. Marie, a lot of damage, and oh, yikes. Okay, that's painful. I'm like, how do I... Do I, I have to, like, jump to hit her? She, she can't... Oh, I'm, I'm doing some damage. Okay, we're doing okay. She just kind of stands there, but she's got... There, dump my head. Some, whoa. She, she's now on the ground, pretty angry. Yikes. Alright, this might be my first loss. Yikes. Trying to get out the way, trying to deal damn. Oh, wow. Jump in there, come on. Yikes, I, okay, I'm gonna have to get better at blocking or something. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yep. Come on. And she killed me, Marie! Massively strong. I'm curious, this is kind of good, in a way, to see how long it takes to try again. Oh, it's instantaneous, that's awesome. I, uh, I don't know, I'm not, I'm not very good at defense in fighting games. Blocking isn't really my, my way, so I feel like I just gotta do as much damage as humanly possible, and then avoid some of those more powerful attacks that she's got going on when uh, she drops the skulls in, she drops the big dragon guy in, he comes in for a crazy kill, and then when she like gets off her throne, it's painful as heck. So I gotta, okay there, I gotta get out, okay, I dodged it that time. That was pretty good. I think we're doing better, oh, we're gonna, go we're gonna get her here, we're gonna get her, come on baby. Ah. Okay, gotta keep jumping. We're gonna trade health, trade health. It's, it's, I'm trying to block, we're trying to block. While she's on the ground, let's get a Berserker Barrage. Yep, good deal. Turn her into the flaming skull lord, whatever you want to call this. Oh god, don't grab me like that. Oh gosh, oh wow, okay. Oh, I jumped over the dragon! Oh my, oh my god, oh my god. I gotta get to her. No! She has such little help! What do I hit?! What am I trying to hit here? The head. The head. Come on. Come on. Yes! With no health! I oh my god, that was so close. Holy crap, that was like a point. I have like literally, you can see there's no, no health visible. I had like less than 1% health. Oh my gosh. That was intense. Alright, this is it. We did it. I can't do it. Can't do what? You okay? I have so many new friends and little in's mouth. Terrible as it was, what happened happened and made me who I am today. Changing that would be wrong. That's what the skull heart is here for, isn't it? To tempt us into doing the wrong thing. Marie said her wish was similar and look how she turned out. This stops here. Oh, she's destroying the, the skull with a um, very powerful kitty kick. A temporary setback, says the Skull Heart. This world will always be cursed by a Skull Heart, and so it shall. So shall it always be cursed with Skull Girls, until this world exists no more. So mission accomplished, but um, not gonna move the needle all that much. <laughs> all that for a life lesson? How annoying. Well, better go check in on everyone back in Little End's Mouth and get some food. I'm exhausted. You done good, Miss Fortune. Crushing the competition. I'm back! I'm starving. It's time for that free meal you promised. Bring me the full Lucky Family Banquet. Nadia, there you are. Minette has been kidnapped. All the River King's daughters and others too. Little Innsmouth is in a panic. Great. We come back and everything's... 
gone crazy. What? Who would dare do such a thing? That's where I come in. My name is Irvin. I'm a private detective. The River King hired me to find his daughter, so if you have any information that might help, I'd appreciate it if you shared it. The proprietor of this fine establishment was telling me that there have been numerous mafia sightings in the area. That's the only lead we've got, but kidnapping certainly fits the mob's MO. We're at a loss as to why they'd be targeting the Gonian woman, though. The mafia? Maybe Marie had it right all along. Hmm. Irvin, I'm coming with you. Those black-hearted already took one family from me, and I'm not going to let him do it again. Hang in there, Manette. We'll find you. I wonder if all the different story modes of the characters like tie together in a bigger overarching story, because that sort of seems like it's going to lead into something else. There are the credits. Nice. Thank you. We win. Champions. Always. Champions always. Okay, new color palette unlocked. I locked some art. And you can get right back into it. Um, survival mode sounds kind of cool. Let's try a different character in survival mode before we get out of here. And then we'll probably do a different story mode next time. Let me know if you guys have a character you want to see. Um, one super powerful character. Yeah, let's just be one character. Um, Beowulf is not a girl. What the heck is he doing here? Um, uh, big band. Literally a, a one woman band. Um, I like, let's be, let's be someone we haven't seen yet. Let's be this robot cat looking girl. Oh, well, our fortune seems like a, just a different version of misfortune, huh? Um, I'll be Squiggly. squiggly. Let's rock Squiggly. I don't know what Squiggly does, but sweet name, so. she's She's got to be cool in some capacity, right? All right, how many can I take down? How long can I survive? I'm gonna guess four characters. Is that selling myself short, or is that that too many? I don't know exactly how this works. We're about to find out. All right, I don't know really your moves, but Eliza, pretty freaking fancy, walking like an Egyptian. All right, so oh wow, there's a, just a bunch of characters lined up. I need to learn uh, some long distance moves, some range attacks. Don't really have many of those. And, and these characters all have them. Wow. Eliza putting the pain on, uh, on me for sure here. Not a fan of this. Maybe 4 was selling myself uh, a little too high. There we go. Ow. We're gonna finish it right here. One more attack. I like how Big Band is just chilling in the background. Wow. Bringing in, bringing in Anubis from the underworld. Oh gosh. Not good timing at all. Misfortune was clearly my character. I love how they walk so silly. Ooh. Wow, that's a cool move. Some of those blockbuster attacks are just very, very nice. They've got like such cool animations and such style. There's so much fanciness from these girls, huh? Alright, can we get the throw? There we go, yep. Wow, two characters down. Maybe four isn't out of the, the realm of possibility. I wish I could switch out to recover some of that red, but I can't. Here's Miss Fortune on the other end doing amazing work. Ooh. Trying to squigger with my little squiggly tail. I like that. So many poor kitty cat meows. Alright, come on. Yes, good punch. Gotten through two. Can we get through three? Come on. Oh, I'm using the Pro Controller, by the way, if you guys want to know how I'm playing. Not gonna work. Oh, we're gonna get her. We're gonna get to a... Th That's a wrap. Oh, I win. I took out all three. Whew. Do I get full health back? Okay. My survival... I survived that, but... Do I need to survive more? I'm, I'm shocked they have Beowulf. Like I didn't know there was a Skull Boy in the game. I wonder what the uh, the lore explanation behind that one actually is. Also, what's happening? Okay, another... Wow. Another set of three, and I have no new health. So I guess, like, as you saw, it probably makes more sense to have the three characters. Like, you can In the survival mode, you can take one super-powered character, 
two um, you know medium powered characters, three light powered characters, but being able to revive health and have options um, is probably cool. Beowulf is pretty big and pretty neat. I like him. Also way tougher than what I had last time around. And that's a sweet move, and it's gonna that's a wrap. Not so glorious for Squiggly. I oh goodness gracious, the art style is so cool. There's so many more characters I want to try. Who is your favorite thus far? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to click the link in the description to check out the game. $24.99 on Switch on the eShop right now. And if you want to enter to win a copy, all you got to do is leave a comment. Let me know your favorite Skull Girl. Like the video. Follow me on Twitter and we'll get a couple of you the codes. Thanks again to Skybound Games for sponsoring the video. Thank you everybody for being here. Hope you enjoy. I'll be back with more. This is a mini series, so stay tuned for another character another story and another set of awesome skull girls battles until that time though thanks so much for watching everybody have a fantastic day i love you a lot drink so much chocolate and we'll see you all later